beautiful soul family and welcome to your weekly reading this is from june 27 to july 3rd of 2022 so let's see who's up next in the reading and we have libra okay libra is up next that's perfect put these back here so uh anywhere that you have libra in your chart this is your reading Anytime you see this will be the right time for you. If the reading resonates, claim it. If not, look at your other placements. You could look at uh, your ascendant sign because sometimes uh, during the course of the year, you could be also in your ascendant sign. You could look at the moon. The moon is about emotions um, as well. You could look at um, Venus. Venus about love and finances. And those of you that are following a different path or your mission, your soul path or spiritual path then you could look at your north node in the reading libra take what's yours and let the rest go okay and uh feel free to swap the energies around if you feel that i'm not talking about you i could also be talking to a cross watcher and customers are welcome to the reading i am just taking out some oracle cards for you so at the end of the reading i could give them to you i could show them to you so I'm almost done here. Okay. We did get, here we go. And last but not least, this is for Libra. Okay, there we go. Put them here on the side. And now let's get started with your reading. Hi Libra, how are you all doing? Hope that you're doing well. Let's look at the situation at hand, what's crossing you at this time and in the root. We got the eight of wands. What's crossing you is the fool. And uh, in the root you have the hermit. It could be Virgo that you're dealing with or you have Virgo in your chart. Now let's look at the recent past till now in the current energy. We got the eight at uh, the seven of pentacles. The Queen of Swords in the current energy and the High Priestess. Nice. Uh, let's look at the immediate future. You got the Queen of Cups. What is hidden from you? This card wants to come out. Okay, so I'll take it out, which is the Ace of Wands. And let's look at the Hopes and Fears. Okay, you got two cards here. I'm going to take out both. You got the lovers and you got the emperor in the hopes and fears. Now let's look at the possible outcome. <laughs> you came into your own reading, justice is here. And in the overall, you got the magician. Okay, let's see here. So here you are manifesting. Some of you are manifesting. Uh, you have all the tools here to, to manifest your dreams, desires, you're, you know, doing affirmations, you're visualizing, you're meditating on these things, whatever it is that you're doing here. You're also raising your vibration by thinking positive, by doing these affirmations, because you have here the magician energy, and you are also appraising it at the same time. In the situation, you got the Eight of Wands, which talks about quick movement, fast movement, uh, also like news and messages coming in. And what's crossing you is a new, a fresh start in the beginning of a journey here. In the root, though, you do have the hermit energy. So a lot of you are probably feeling withdrawing at this time. Uh, you're going within, you're following your own path. You could be meditating. But there's an energy of like uh, going, uh, withdrawing from others and going within, all right? In the recent past till now, you got the Seven of Pentacles. Maybe at this time in the past or in the recent past, you were reviewing, you know, maybe your money or just in general, your life here, uh, Libra, okay, with the Seven of Pentacles. And you were finding that something was moving slow, whether it's money, relationships, friendships, whatever it was here for you. And uh, there was a need to be patient because there will be harvest. In the current energy, you are this Queen of Swords, okay? 
and it shows me here that you're thinking logically about your next step and also i also feel here that um not only are you thinking logically you're very honest here fair and you're very objective uh, in the way that you see things you're in the current energy you have the high priestess this is about your intuition and your uh, your and your uh, gut feeling it's about uh, understanding it you know uh, and following the guidance that's coming in and that's why a lot of you are uh, maybe have been in this hermit mode for a while now okay is uh, is about really about you con uh, coming to terms and how to trust your intuition you also have the queen of cups this could be you also okay this is about your intuition i do feel you know with the intuition it's not with the, just with the mind it's with the mind and the heart coming in together and so there's you know you're very compassionate here there could be someone around you in this type of energy as well and what's in there's a new energy that's coming in it could be a new job it could be a something a creative that you're working on there's a lot of potential and growth with the ace of wands in the hopes and fears you've got the emperor the divine masculine it could be an energy here uh there could be a lot of partnership and romance and choices okay it could be a lover or friend uh this is about some type of commitment Okay, it could be any type of commitment. It's about setting up new rules, new boundaries, and planning ahead. There's a lot of stability with this uh, emperor energy, and uh, uh, there's also, yeah, stability and protection here is what I'm picking up. And in the possible outcome, you've got the justice card. So things that were unjust will be just again. Uh, this is about uh, the karmic scales are balancing. It's about fairness. Okay, so definitely the truth here and something coming into balance. Now, or you're dealing with another Libra, or this is you. Okay, now we're going to clarify the cards and see what else is taking place. Let's look at this magician together. Got the Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, the Three of Swords. There's definitely, uh, there was some type of uh, ending that took place, something that ran its course, or it could be also a betrayal, separation, heartbreak. There's a lot of sadness about an ending that's taking place or was taking place. Could be also in the past, the recent past here. And um, when the Ten of Swords shows up, it shows up as like, okay, there's an ending. There's uh, something that ran its course. Maybe could have been a betrayal. Uh, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. And with the Magician, you've been raising your vibration here. And with the Three of Pentacles showing up for you, Okay, uh, it seems here that there's some type of rebuilding that's being taking place. Like I see collaboration, working together. This can be a marriage for some of you here. Maybe you went through something. Uh, and a lot of it, what it shows up here as the Three of Pentacles is that there is a collaboration, working together, building, rebuilding together or building together and a strong foundation because you've been manifesting. Let's look at this Eight of Wands. You got the five of pentacles reversed the knight of wands the five of wands okay i feel at one point maybe you felt left out ghosted in the dark uh, or you felt like uncertain uh, there was a lot of things that you were going through a feeling that you were lacking something here i feel that a lot of you came to terms with it um I feel that you found uh, a sense of healing that took place because with the Five of Pentacles reversed, there's something that's being resolved, put at peace here, and there's some type of return. Something is coming back to you, you here. And uh, maybe there's a lot of conflict around this. Maybe you still have conflict, okay? Or it could be that uh, there's conflict or drama around you at this time. Uh, and I do see uh, there's an energy here of uh, someone that uh, with the Knight of Wands that's coming in. Uh, that's someone here that's taking action. Okay, it could be someone here taking action, especially with the messages that are coming in. It could be also that you're planning to move residence. This is for a little minimal of you. Um, 
but there's someone here that gets that with the nine of wands energy i'm picking up like okay in the type of uh, people that are coming in this could be people that are coming in and out of your life could be uh i'm gonna take extra cards here to see more or less what this is all about or this can be also in the sense that you're getting things done you're very straightforward here and uh you're taking action and moving past this type of energy that's around you okay so let me just take an extra card here uh, where did i put the cards i need my to go deck oh there it, there it is i want to see why this five of uh, wands and this knight of uh, wands is here for you It's a lesson that was learned already from the past here. Something that was learned already, okay? There's a lesson that you went through that was already learned, okay? That was already resolved on this. Uh, but it feels like it's showing up on the surface right now, okay? It could have been that you were feeling unhappy in a situation around your family or friends or just like, uh, you know, there was some type of unhappiness here. And someone here that was cold could have been dishonest here. But I feel like I said is that, you you know, maybe the conflict, maybe there is drama around you. But with the Nine of Wands and energy, I feel like you're really taking action forward in a situation. Like you're moving past the conflict because you are manifesting here, okay? You are manifesting and you are raising your vibration. Now let's look at the Fool and what's crossing you at this time. You got the Star reversed. Okay, Aquarian energy, the Page of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles. It's as if you lost, uh, some of you lost faith or hope in a situation. Um, let me see what's going on here with the star reversed. You're confused. There's a sense of confusion. And that's why maybe uh, this uh, fresh start or this new beginning of a journey uh, it's like you're that's what your challenge is yeah it, it, again it, it, i don't know whose energy this is but with the star reversed here it just feels that like someone lost hope maybe they're not feeling good in the energy right now they lost hope in a situation they're not feeling happy uh you know uh Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo, you have Virgo in your chart. Someone here is coming out of a time where they've been maybe isolated too long or they're feeling lonely or they're not sure of which direction to go, okay? And there is confusion. And whatever it is that you walked away from or some, what if, if someone walked away from you in the past year, I see a note that you overcame this because you've been putting a lot of energy into something and you've been putting a lot of long hours and dedication to this. And it's going to pay off with the page of wands because something is coming in divine timing for this fresh start for you to take here. And there is a sense of excitement, maybe ideas, fresh ideas, but there is a sense of excitement that's taking place. And you've been seeing the signs, Libra. Okay, so um, yeah, this is what I'm picking up right now for, for what's the coming in and the challenge. Now let's look at the hermit here in the root. What's this all about? The Emperor, the mask. Okay, so you got the Emperor twice, Aries, the Page of Swords, and the Devil. Wow, what a combination. Okay. So it's something about the past here where there was a lot of interferences people, places, or situations uh, that you were dealing with. Uh, huh, okay. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna sh show you this. So you got uh, the Hermit, right? So you, you're withdrawing, maybe some of you are dealing with a Virgo, but if let's say it's not you're dealing with a Virgo, or you're a Virgo on your chart, this is about you withdrawing and going within. Okay, you're searching for the truth here, okay? And that's why you are really like, you're really tuning tuning in to your intuition here and your gut, okay? Because, uh, uh, you know, this about, uh, you know, uh, it's important to follow your intuition, right? With the Emperor Energy, this could be any type of commitment. It could be job, love, whatever it is for you. And there's new boundaries, setting new boundaries, uh, setting new limits here. 
It's about planning ahead. There's a lot of wisdom. Uh, there's protection. And it's about taking action here. Okay. With the devil energy, what I'm picking up is that now you can be dealing with a Capricorn. If not, this is Saturn that's testing you. And it could also be that that you're a lot of you are feeling stuck in some type of like feeling stuck in some type of negativity here. It could be um, also you restricting yourself as well. There could be a uh, toxic people, unhealthy situation, patterns or habits in a situation here. But I do see a breakthrough with the Page of Swords because the Page of Swords in energy is uh, someone here that reaches to a higher level in understanding, uh, in communication as well. Um, there's a lot of curiosity and a lot of fresh ideas taking place here. And, uh, you know, and something had to release here of people, of situations of the past here that was where there was a lot of interferences and with the Knight of Pentacles, you're someone here is moving slowly. Now, whether it's you or them, but I believe that this is you, that you're moving slowly towards your goals and you are planning ahead here in a situation. Okay, so let's look at the Seven of Pentacles in the recent past. You got the Eight of Wands reversed, the Four of Wands and the hangman reverse there's something that you have to surrender to here because you were waiting for a long time and i feel like you got the clarity that you needed uh, but at the same time there was like frustrations uh messages weren't coming through um there was delays that were taking place here uh and uh i think the most important thing for a lot of you is uh is how happy your home is. You know, a lot of you want stability, you want celebration, you want joy and happiness in a home, okay? And there was something here that was moving very slowly for you, and there was a lot of frustrations, like I said, and delays. But with the hangman reversed, it also shows that there's been some type of stalling also from the past here. This is from the past till now, okay? Oops. This is from the past till now in the current energy. And something that you have to be very, very patient on. Or you have to work on being patient. Now let's look at this Queen of Swords in the current energy. The Five of Swords reversed. The Nine of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. This, okay. Maybe some of you were dealing with someone in the past here. It could be more than one person, but... Some of you were dealing with something that was unjust. There was a lot of injustice, a lot. Maybe there was lies or this or dishonesty. There, there was uh, could have been also, uh, you know, uh, you were dealing with people that were different than you, Libra. You know, people that were more greedier or just unstable uh, in energy. And but I do see with the Five of Swords reverse that something here. There's going to be some type of resolve. Okay. Um, like I said, a lot of you are operating with logically uh, with your next steps. You're very fair. But again, with the Four of Pentacles, there's something that you're holding on to. And with the Nine of Pentacles, you are working towards a certain goal. You're taking your time, but you're planning. But you're still working out the logistics of how to let go, how to release. Okay? Uh, because, uh, you know, uh, a lot of you, uh, like, it's also planetary as well. Huh? Not just uh, in... That are that planetary things are taking place, so that like there was delays here, you know, that took place. Um, so let's see what else is coming up for you with the High Priestess, Nine of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Yeah, there's a confusion around uh, maybe uh, about your past, your connections that you have ha had that could be. You know, from childhood, could be connections, uh, friendship, lovers, whatever it was, your relationships. And there's a lot of confusion around this, okay? But what it's being shown to me is that there's a healing and you are going to be moving on. But of course, there's free will here because you are very worried. Can't sleep at night, probably overthinking about things. There could be anxiety and fear attached to this. But there is a breakthrough, okay? It's about trusting your intuition because what I do see is that you have the food of life with the Ten of Pentacles. If this is a business, love, whatever this is here, and there is abundance, there is a legacy, and there's some type of stability that's coming in. But it's about trusting your gut. So if you have to trust your gut on something, you cannot be in the Nine of Swords. Because worry is an energy that actually 
the more you worry about something, the more you're amplifying something that you not need to worry about because there is worry here. Okay. So how are you going to get in touch with your intuition? If you're worried, that's why um, a lot of you are withdrawing at this time or will be withdrawing at this time to go within, to follow your own path here. It's important to follow your gut. Now let's look at the queen of cups here. Cause I see that you're very compassionate. You're very kind and energy. You're also could be a, you could be a healer, a counselor. People come to you to talk to you, Libra. I do see that. People like to be in your energy, but it's also about your intuition here. So let's see with the Queen of Cups. We've got the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles reversed, the Six of Swords. There's something here that I feel like a lot of you feel that you uh, you don't have stability in, in a certain um, area in your life. Okay. It could be about money coming in or a new opportunity or something. It could be also a gift, whatever it is here. You are facing your challenges. You are, okay? You're putting up your boundaries here. And um, with the Six of Swords, you are going through a transition. So you all, you have to understand you are going through a, tra a transition at this time. So it's important that, to understand that and that from a difficult place, you're going to a better place. So you could also be uh, moving on then leaving something behind. There's departure here as well. It could be also relocating or moving. Now, let's look at the Ace of Wands and what's being hidden from you. I've got Justice again reversed. The Four of Cups rejection. This Queen of Swords reversed. The Wheel of Fortune reversed. The Nine of Cups reversed. The Queen of Cups. Are these all reversed? Okay, these are supposed to be all upright because I just noticed that my deck was reversed. And my, okay, so I'm going to have to put them upright because this is... Um, okay, because I noticed that my deck... No, it's not. Okay, so these were all reversed. Okay, there's a reason why they're reversed and this was upright. All right. So just they're just showing me the overall of what you've been going through. Things have been unjust in your life. Okay? There could have been lies or dishonesty. Maybe at this time with the Queen of Cups, someone here was not emotionally available. Someone here was not in their element. They could have been also very moody in energy. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune reverse, there is a delay for Jupiter to come in. Someone here with the Queen of Swords is not communicating, is not speaking at this time, could not be talking, could be someone that cut off somebody, somebody that's cold right now, is not able to communicate. Uh, but there is a wish fulfillment that will be granted here. Just that uh, I see that there's rejection towards this. Someone here does not want to see it. But there is a new energy that wants to come through. Okay, it could be any type, like new energy wants to filtrate through. It could be a new job, a new passion, a new love, whatever it is, this for you. Okay, this is what I see up to now. Let me see what I, if I could pick up something else. What's the end result here for the Four Cups and the delays and uh, someone here that... Uh, in emotions, maybe they're overthinking something. There could be anger here as well and repressed emotions. What does this all mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. You're going through a huge cycle. You got the death card. So you are going through a death and rebirth. There's ending of cycles, new beginnings taking place. You're in the cocoon stage. And it's like the caterpillar that walks on the sidewalk or in the grass. And then eventually they go into this cocoon. You will know how the cocoon, how long they stay in. Because a lot of you could be going through the dark night of the soul. Some of you may, uh, may be coming out of it or will be coming out of it. But th there is certainly some people still in the dark night of the soul. And so you are going through like a death and rebirth. You are going through it huge transformation i do see that you're going to be receiving something here definitely um i see someone here that's not confident in this in themselves at this time uh, they're not confident or they're not determined or motivated um you know um like there's some type of communication that has to take place and it's not taking place but again like i said you're going through a huge transformation and i do see a, a new energy coming in so for me um no june july is very important for you in the months and also your birthday month those of you that are cus cuspers of virgo and libra 
okay and the libra energy of course till november the end of november okay you're going to be going through this transformation maybe some of you already went through this so you are going to be going through this but you are being divinely guided and you are protected here okay now let's look at the lover's energy with the emperor king of pentacles reversed okay yeah you've been working on yourself and you are working on your intuition here it shows me okay to trust your gut all oh, you're independent as well um, maybe you're feeling unstable at this time. You're not feeling uh, there's like some type of unstableness around you, maybe in business. It doesn't have to be in business because I do see that you are financially uh, stable here and there is a financial stability and uh, also success here for you. And you are very independent and you have been working on yourself, but mostly you've been working on your intuition here because there's a lot of choices that you have to make and you have to be sure which direction you're going here. Uh, in order if this is work or love or anything so let me know in the, if that re resonates with you because i'm not even sure if this resonates uh because there's there's so much that you know you, there's new things that are taking place here for you but it's normal that you know there's a there's a sense of releasing letting go and going into the new energy okay so let's look at the justice here you got the tower the Page of Cups reversed, the Five of Cups, the Ace of Cups. It's about opening your heart to unconditional love. You still are releasing here, okay? Um, you're feeling, at this time, uh, very sensitive. Um, you know, there's a sense of releasing, you could be releasing a loss, maybe. Um, you know, uh, someone that crossed over, for some of you out there. Uh, from the past or you could be also releasing resentment hurt guilt uh, all these things of, uh, if, of what took place in your um, interrelationships whatever it is here um, the tower is coming in to clear the energy it's out with the old and in with the new and to do that of course things are going to seem chaotic at this time disruptive at this time you need to hold um, your energy high because with the magician you are able okay to manifest and to raise your vibration and your frequency here okay so there's definitely a merging that's going to take place because something is going to come to justice for you and you've got the ace of cups for those of you that are following your mission your spiritual path your soul path or a different path and you've been doing a lot of self-love and self-healing and you know letting go of the repressed emotions you're going to feel a sense of overwhelmness because you are going to open your heart to unconditional love. And you will be at peace. You're going to find forgiveness, compassion, okay? And uh, also there is there is new love here that's coming in for you. And for me, the Ace of Cups represents abundance. So I hope you enjoyed your reading now. We're going to look underneath the deck. Underneath the deck, you've got the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the King of Cups reversed. So you got the King and Queen of Cups reversed, the World reversed, and the Seven of Swords, the Knight of Cups reversed, the Two of Wands, the World, the Moon. Okay, it's very important to look at this, right? Because there's been a difficulty here, obstacles, burden, stress. Uh, that you have to go through. You've been carrying so much on your shoulders for such a long time, Libra. So you're very close to the journey, of end the ending of a journey here, okay? And so something is going to be released from you. And you will get an unexpected message, very direct here, that there's something here that you could be receiving. I do see here this unfinished business, okay? not uh, Or not getting closure, um, you know, this could be uh, from the uh, King of Cups, okay, like Scorpio, uh, Pisces, or, or uh, Cancer. It doesn't have to be that sign, but this is someone here right now that is not emotionally available. They're not able to communicate. They're not able to give at this time. And with the world reversed, again, like I said, there's, there's some of you that need to gain your own closure. And that's why it's taking time. But there's something something that is not complete here. And with the Seven of Swords, it could be that uh, there could have been dishonesty around you, lies, someone trying to get away with something. Or it could be that you've been very quiet about what you've been going through. Again, here, I don't see like someone uh, at this time coming in uh, to offer any, like, or 
it, or if, it, if there was an offer here, I do see that you are still like making progress, making decisions and planning, but you are facing your own self here. You're facing your own fear. You're facing yourself in a situation because with Neptune and Pisces here, it's just, uh, there's a lot of illusion, confusion, uncertainty. There could be lies, there could be deception, like I said, and there's a need for you to reflect. So that's why there's a need to withdraw and to go within and to follow your intuition. All right. So now I'm going to take out the Oracle cards from the angels. You got no and let go. Your crystal of the week is celestite and this is for the throat chakra. So this activates spiritual development aids in dream recollect recollection, it supports clairvoyant communication, helps out-of-body experiences, and heals the aura. So cel celestite is blue, yellow, reddish brown, or white in transparent cl uh, crystal clusters. Okay, celestite. Now, I also, from um, the angels, you got uh, prayer. So I will read this to you. And this is the prayer, and you could say this, as I'm reading it to you, or just say uh, at the end, thank you or amen. Dear God, help me always to remember that this present life is but a fleeting moment within eternity. Help me always to remember that this life is but a dream. Help me always to remember that you exist with everyone and everything. Help me always to remember that love is all there is and all else is an illusion. Thank you. This is your prayer. And you did get another prayer so you got two prayers dear guardian angel to you i pray when i'm fearful help me remember that only love is real when i'm lost help me find my way when i'm confused help me to regain clarity when i feel lonely help me feel your loving presence where i perceive chaos help me to see order thank you and the monology you here it says the south node which is in Scorpio, don't let your past hold you back, Libra. Don't let your past hold you back. And you did get two, two cards here um, from the Cosmic Guidance. First one you got here is Change, New Season of Life. So I will read you your affirmation so that you, for those of you that want to write them in the comments below, the more you write it down, the more you amplify the frequency for all Libras out there on the collective. Okay. Okay, so this one here, I'm gonna put it like this. Let me, sorry, this, I'm just looking for the page because this book does not come in with numbers. So give me a second to find it. Okay, so you see, you got this card and this is a tree. Half of it is barren, half of it is uh, fruitful. And it says, new season of life. New season of life is here. If you are seeing this card, change is on its way. Something might already be changing in your life or is about to change. Don't fear it and don't resist it. But welcome and embrace it with courage. Nothing is permanent. Everything is bound to change one day. Life is unpredictable and ever-changing. If change is ine inevitable, why not learn to cooperate with it and deal with it with ease and excitement? Why not to learn to flow with every season of life? Some seasons are more desirable than others. You crave summer, but winter is coming. When winter is here, it feels like it will be cold forever. But then when summer comes again and you learn that without the cold, you wouldn't appreciate the warmth as much as you do. Every season of life is here to teach you something. It is up to you whether to fear it or to learn from it. <coughs> and what they're saying is, is to... Uh, ex to journal, journaling exercise, create a timeline of your life so far and divide it into different seasons with their own themes. Give a title to each chapter of your life and journal about your favorite memories, mistake, mistakes that you made and what you learned from each chapter. And your affirmation is, I'm excited to find out what life has in store for me. I welcome and embrace change and uncertainty. I am excited to find out what life has in store for me. I welcome and embrace change and uncertainty. I am excited to find out what life has in store for me. I welcome and embrace change and uncertainty. And so it is. 
The next card you got is Don't Stop. Okay, and it's right here. So this is your card. If you look at it, there's a woman here that's digging, right? She's digging the earth. It says a miracle is around the corner, okay? So your affirmation here is, I am determined to achieve exactly what I want. I am not giving up because I haven't tried all possible ways. Again, I am determined to achieve exactly what I want. I am not giving up because I haven't tried all possible ways. I am determined to achieve exactly what I want. I'm not giving up because I haven't tried all possible ways. And so it is. So it says here, you had enough and you want to quit. Understandably so. Continue moving towards your dreams, plans, and desires, and the universe will reward you for your patience and your endurance. This is not a time to give up. Stand your ground and believe in yourself, Libra. A miracle is around the corner. If you quit now, you might never find out what it was. If everything was easy, life wouldn't be fun. Without the current challenges you face, there is no growth. Without growth, you might not be ready to accept your reward. Build up your endurance and commit. You are reaching the most important part of your journey, and it is essential that you keep on going. All right, so you've got change and don't stop. And now I do will, will give you the Hidden Truth Oracle cards, which is maybe there's a message here that has to be said to you. So let's see what the message is here for Libra from June 27 to July 3rd of 2022. Maybe this is a message that you want to give to someone or someone wants to give to you. I'm just putting it out there. You got four cards. Oh, five cards. Okay, so first one, it says, you and I were too young. I look for you everywhere. You came closer than anyone. I am becoming a better person. I love you. So Libra, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Know that I have your back and I love you all. And remember together we are one, we are love, and we are light. Bye. Take care.